67, 104, 117, 99, 107, 10, 78, 111, 114, 114, 105, 115. This is how you say Chuck Norris in Unicode. Let's check this out in more detail. In the video on textual data, we learned that computers use character encoding systems to represent characters as numbers under the hood. Each character is assigned a number, and the computer sees this number. Okay, fine you might say. This seems logical, but is it possible to see these numbers? For example, you give me a character, and I give you a number. Well, we won't talk in business yet. You were discussing my curiosity. This question brings us naturally to Unicode. Unicode provides us with a standard list of unique codes for each character from most of the world's writing systems. Before Unicode, there were many different encoding systems out there for assigning numbers to characters. One major issue with having multiple systems is that the same code or number might be assigned to multiple characters. This type of issue causes problems when sending text from one computer to another. This is why Unicode was created, so we could have a unique code for each character. Hmm, unique code? Unicode. Let me show you how we can encode and decode some characters using JavaScript. If you insist. The word encode is a verb that means convert to coded form. With Unicode, we start with a character and we convert to a number. So in this case, the coded form is just a number. We call the Unicode number value a character code. If we look at the string Chuck, we can find the character code for any character in the string by using the dot and selecting char code at. Charcode at is a piece of code that will return the character code for any character at a particular index within a string. Let's get the code for the capital letter C at index zero. This shows us that the Unicode character code for the capital letter C is indeed 67. We can verify this by using Google and searching for Unicode list. On the flip side, decode is a verb that means convert from coded form. To do this, we take the character code 67 and we use a piece of code that is available for all strings. We want to get a string from a character code. String.fromCharCode does this for us. These two pieces of code show us how we can encode and decode Unicode values. We're in a notebook now that I've set up so we can encode and decode full sentences more easily. This is publicly available, so please, by all means, check this out and play with it yourself. Link in the description. All right, we have a list of jokes to play around with. This data is in a format called JSON. If you aren't familiar with that, don't worry, we'll cover JSON later in the playlist. You'll notice that each question is decoded while the answers are encoded using Unicode. This is intentional so you can have something to try out yourself below. Down below we have two sections, a section to encode some characters and a section to decode some codes. It works like this. Each section has an input and an output. We provide the input and we get the corresponding output in real time. Let me show you the code that generates the output. To see this, we just click the arrow next to the output. What I want you to notice is the use of the code that we saw in the console. For encoding, char code at is being used. And for decoding, string dot from char code is being used. This shows how we can encode and decode characters using code. Most of the time, we don't have to deal with or even think about these underlying numbers because ultimately, the characters are what we care about. However, every time we save a file that contains textual data, a character encoding is being used. For this reason, character encodings are sometimes a concern, particularly when we want to open a file and read its data. Depending on where the file is from, it's possible to run into encoding issues. So keep character encoding in the back of your mind if you ever run into any problems reading textual data from a file. Let me know in the
in the comments if you like this video and if you have any questions. For this video, please encode all comments using Unicode before posting. If you insist.